less than 20 days away from the wedding. Welcome back. We are less than 20 days away from the wedding. I cannot believe it's going by so fast, but honestly, I feel like this is like this time where it's so soon is just the best to just soak up. It's not like you're so far away that you're like, oh, I have time. Now it's like go time. Everything has to be set into place. Just kind of soaking up the last moments of like being a fiance. Got back from New Jersey this past Sunday. I flew back. Just kind of getting back into the swing of things. With less than 20 days, there's a good amount of stuff that has to be done. Today, I'm actually going for my wedding nail trial i'm thinking of doing like either a chrome a french chrome or like a french faded chrome i'm not really sure i don't get my nails done often i usually do them myself I'm actually going to keen which is a non-toxic nail salon in arlington area so keeping it non-toxic i have that later today and ben and i also have a doctor's appointment thursday we have to get our final seating count off to our event coordinator that'll be our final seat count so everything has to be done we have most of our seating chart in order my sweet friend gifted me five classes to pilates i told her how much i loved going with her she gifted me some classes i'm trying to fit as many as i can in before the wedding so we're gonna go together on thursday and then i will kind of fit them in throughout the next few weeks it's really crazy like scheduling things facials everything like that i don't have enough time because i need to get it all done before i leave and we're actually leaving going back to new jersey on the 10th the wednesday then we're gonna drive to our venue on thursday come along with me i'm gonna share with you what i ended up doing with my nails right now i'm just doing some work just got ready for the day i did not do my workout yet ben and i did not work out today or yesterday so we're gonna try to work out later today after dinner but i did do the treadmill and I took Milo out, so that feels good. This is my outfit for today. That's Milo's phone. My top is commence. It's actually a full like pants set it's with like trousers too. Shorts are Amazon. Shoes you guys have seen before. Steve Madden I'm wearing my little charm necklace that I love. My outfit. You wanna get it? And Milo's outfit of the day is what he wears every day. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss, babe? I just got back from the nail salon and my nails they look so good. I thought I booked a manicure and a pedicure, but I think I just booked a manicure knowing that I don't really need to try on my pedicure, but they look so good. So basically what I got is a builder gel from I think it's called gel in a bottle and then they did a chrome coat on top i just love them they're they literally my nails look like pearls i love how they look yeah i think this is what i'm gonna go for when i get my nails done in two weeks they will be a little bit longer and then builder gel actually goes on top of your natural nails so once these grow out in two weeks which they will definitely be a little bit longer it'll just look like a natural tip but it's just my natural nail so i really like them just got back downstairs. I was up at the roof for a little bit. I've been doing work all morning, but I'm about to prep some dinner. I'm making something that I haven't made before. Our friend made it when he had us over and I really liked it. I feel like it's a good summer thing. It's on the grill. I'll tell you what I'm making. Um, I am making Greek yogurt marinated chicken thighs. Then I'm also gonna make like a little homemade Greek yogurt tzatziki with some dill. This is Milo's favorite spot. I have my fourth outfit change of the day. I'm like always changing my outfits because I'm going for my 10K steps and I'm up at the pool, then I shower. Anyway, I'm always changing outfits, but I got some non-toxic restock, so I wanted to share with you. I ran out of my Earth Harbor mermaid milk, so I picked that up. This is like a really great light moisturizer. My skin cannot handle anything too heavy or I'll break out. It's made with spirulina and matcha. And hyaluronic acid, antioxidants. Restock on that. They also sent a little mini ceramide recovery serum. I'm not trying to add anything new into my skincare routine right now with the wedding coming up. 
because I don't want to aggravate it um, and break out for my wedding. So I do have a code down below in the description if you're interested. They are a small business and I love their ingredients. I had to restock on my perfume after tons of sampling for a non-toxic wedding scent. I am sticking to my tried and true. It is the By Rosie Jane Dolce perfume. It just smells so good. Like the perfect sweet vanilla scent. I am gonna keep this one for the wedding photos for our flat lays and stuff and also the wedding day. So I am running out of it. It's lasted me about like, I wanna say a year and a half and their non-toxic fragrance, which we love. And then they also sent a 100% natural spray deodorant. Looking at the ingredients. So I purchased this and they gave me a free product and then I also purchased this and they gave me this. I didn't actually purchase this, but it came free and it looks like the ingredients, the ingredients look pretty good right off the bat. There's no numbers, PEGs. Um, I don't see any um, fragrance in here. It looks like it's all, this looks like really good ingredients. Um, I'm excited to try this. And it's a spray deodorant, which, Ooh, and it's clear. I don't know why I thought it would be like a cream or something. I'm gonna try that right now. It's a great travel size too. Ooh, it smells like lemons, like clean, very clean. Spray two to three crumbs under each arm, allow to dry before dressing, reapply for the day. Okay, that's cool. I like this. We will sample that out and that might be my new deodorant because I am looking for a new deodorant. Do you want ice cream? Made homemade ice cream the other night and it came out really good. So I'm gonna have some. It was really easy to make, it's like five ingredients and I have the ice cream KitchenAid attachment I got off of my registry. Great way to make clean ingredient ice cream for sure. I made chocolate fudge brownie. Looks so good. Benny, do you want ice cream? Do you want ice cream? What? Do you want ice cream? Yeah. I did add sprinkles to mine. So good. Around 10 o'clock and I am going to head to a coffee shop to do some work and edit last week's video. I want to get that done so I can focus on editing this video. I'm a little bit behind but it's all good. I feel like going to a coffee shop definitely helps me to like focus and get one task done rather than being home and being able to like get up from my seat and like do other things. I'm gonna get a matcha. I think I'm gonna get a lavender matcha today. I've been avoiding a matcha getting a matcha out because the coffee shop I go to, it's like pretty strong and I get pretty like energized. I feel like I need a little bit of that energy today. I actually have a Pilates class with my friend, so we're gonna go together tonight. I'm not a big workout class girl, especially like hit workouts and stuff, and I just fell in love with Pilates the first time I did it. So we're gonna go today and I'm gonna try to use up all my classes before the wedding. Dressed and ready for Pilates and I got a bunch of packages. First is my bathing suit for my mom because I left it at my house. It's like the only bathing suit I have besides another one that doesn't give me a tan line for my wedding dress. Need that desperately. Oh, I ordered a call from my venue. Hi, my venue called me to get some last minute details. For my bridal shower cards, I went on Postable and you can actually send out your cards, custom handwrite them, not actually handwritten, but typed. They look super handwritten and do each one custom. So I basically went through my guests and hand wrote everything and just kind of added like the gifts they sent and a little note or something that made it kind of special geared towards them. And then they literally do it all for you. They put it in envelopes, they stamp it and they send it out for you. You don't have to worry about it. So long story short, I got 10. They allow you to send um, blank ones to yourself just in case you miss anything or anything else pops up. So I just got those in the mail and look how cute these are. The designs matches and like sums up the bridal shower perfectly. So I just got a few of these in the mail with some envelopes. So that's perfect. I actually have two people I already need to send out. 
The other really exciting thing is we got our phone for the wedding. So instead of a traditional guest book, we are going to do an after the tone phone, which if you haven't heard of it, it is a phone that records people's voices and then at the end of the wedding, you get to get like a CD, you can even get a record of all of your family and friends' voices that you have to keep, which is really special. So it's here, I have no idea what color I ended up getting. It's white or black, so let's see. <gasps> we got white, I love it. So here's what she looks like. It basically looks like a vintage phone and it records people's voices i love it i'm glad it came early so i can figure that out but and then it comes with a return label so right after the wedding you send it back and i do have a code with them i am working with them on this which is super exciting we're gonna come up the last thing i will share with you i did order bathing suits because i need new bathing suits for a honeymoon i went on airy i was searching for semi-affordable swimsuits i feel like all swimsuits now are so expensive and i don't mind that like quality and stuff but I just wasn't ready to splurge, so I got a few off of Airy. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them all, but I wanted to like try them on. Blue color, which literally matches this. And I got a one piece and I got a bikini. I'm vibing with one pieces and I feel like they're coming back. I got this blue bottoms, which one I like. Then I also got the same swimsuit in a yellow color. And this top is like more of a string top. Got a size medium and then bottoms, I got a size small. I think they didn't have one, a medium, they didn't have a small, so I got a medium to see. I really like the color combos. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? How are you enjoying bellies? Ben had off this weekend, so we ended up going out with friends this night. This dress I got from Fashion Pass, which I think is so pretty. I was saving it for the honeymoon, but could not resist wearing it tonight because we were gonna eat outside, and I just feel like it's the perfect summer dress. I'm applying some non-toxic hairspray. This is by Innersense, and some non-toxic lip products, and ready to go. I just love this color for the summer. I'm making green juice for the first time. I did ginger turmeric um, in my almond cake before, but I've never done a green juice. And I just went to TJ's and got kale. It always has a crazy amount of stems and I didn't want to throw it out. So I turned it into green juice. I added lemon, ginger, turmeric, pepper, a little bit of superfood honey from Beekeepers Natural, some celery. And I totally eyeballed it and it looks really good it's green and we'll see how it tastes I'm not doing it necessarily for the taste here's the green juice smells like kale i am going to pour it into my little glasses here these are actually all my spice jar empties that i keep and wash and i use them for a little paint shots i actually only have used them i actually never have used them but i know that i, I was like i'm going to use these one day and now i get to use them so grab a little funnel All right, let's taste test it. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes like kale mostly, and I don't mind it. That will be my green drink shot for the morning. And I used my kale, I used my kale leftovers. I made one more batch. I also forgot to mention I added coconut water to the first batch, so I used like half coconut water, half water. Now I have my green juice.